So I just purchased this 50 watt LED floodlight. Let's check it out. So I just purchased this from AliExpress for about uh, $5. It's a 50 watt LED light floodlight actually. It's a 50 watt LED floodlight and it costed me $5. Now as you see here, it's with the cables that need to be attached to a power outlet or a battery or whatever you can do. So I'll be doing that later on. But I just wanted to go over with it a little bit to show you guys and wanted to know what you guys think about this. Now I counted all the LED lights and it said 50. And I've, so I counted all the LED lights and it's uh, 50 in total. I think that's why it's uh, 50 watt it's called. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know anything about lights stuff like that so bear with me this is a first time video i'm doing with uh led lights like these i'm just hoping that they're going to be really really powerful that was the main uh issue with me i want it to be very powerful i'm gonna be using this for lighting for the for my videos when i make them so i'm really hoping that it'll be strong enough of a light to be able to use it while making videos. So let's hope for that. Now, like I said before, this needs some sort of other... So like I said before, this needs some sort of power source to fire it up and make it work. Upon purchasing it, honestly, I didn't really pay attention and I thought it came with an actual power supply to it and after opening the product I come to figure that it doesn't have any sort of power supply so that is kind of a bummer but I'm gonna find a way to get this bad boy booted up and we'll continue from there my friends but just before we do that I just wanted to tell you I noticed that this piece right here that supports the light when it's in its position like so or like so or however you want to place it i noticed that it's very thin and it's extremely easy to bend it that's why here you can see it straight and here you can see already bended maybe that's from the packaging when it was being sent to me let's try to straighten it out as much as we can so there you go it's a little bit better the top part is also, so keep that in mind my friends. I will leave a link in the description if you still wanna go purchase this once you see how powerful the light is. So just so you guys know, it is very, very thin here. So you gotta be careful with that so you don't bend it. Um, other than that, it seems like a pretty good build. Not so bad. Uh, I think I'm happy with it. But like I said, let's power it up and see how well it does. So I'll get back to you guys once I actually get a power supply. So let's do that. So my friends, I connected a power source to it. As you can see, it's a cable from a electric kettle. I just uh, cut it, attached it, did soldering and everything, put electric tape, and this is the results. I could have went and bought one and had a nice long one, etc. But I like to to improvise. I like to recycle, to use things that normally wouldn't be used. You know, I don't like throwing things away. So that is the reason why I added from the kettle. And that's why it's not so long. It's about a meter, maybe a tiny bit more than a meter. But I think it's good enough. I'm happy with it. So the only downfall is that I didn't add like a on and off switch. I probably could have done that, but that's more work, etc. I don't know if it's really that necessary. Well, it is necessary, but I just, I guess, chose not to do it at that time. Maybe in the future, I don't know. But for now, it's just a complete uh, plug and play. As soon as you plug it in, right away it works. So let's plug it in and you guys tell me what you guys think of it. If it's also good for YouTube videos, we'll do some tests with it. So I'll plug it. Plugging it now. Okay, it's plugged in. 
just in case I'm gonna point it at you guys so you can have a direct look at it if it's too bright just close your eyes you might see flickering of the recording because it's light towards the camera and that's what usually happens with too much of a powerful light so bear with it is just for understanding then I'll leave the angle and we'll just have the light point it at the wall and see how it is and we'll try different things so first is like that oh I forgot to mention um I have also with me a uh, main LED light and also one of those selfie lights on the other side just so you guys know I'll also turn them off so you can get a nice look at it without any other type of lighting so again Okay, now direct down. I'm pretty sure it's flickering. I'm sure you can see the power of it as well. So yeah, it is pretty powerful light. It's really powerful. So now I'm gonna leave the frame and point it on the wall. So you can see how the lighting gets screwed up from the recording, because it's just too much of a powerful light. Okay, let's turn off the other lights. I'll even close the blinds as well. Okay, now we're in complete darkness. Now check it out. Still does flickering. Very powerful light, my friends. 50 watt is extremely powerful. I did not think it, it would be this powerful. I wanted power and I got extreme power. So there you go. Okay. Now I'm going to add like uh, some sort of filter. I'm using a t-shirt. Okay, white t-shirt, double layer, just so you know. And we're gonna use it as a filter, light filter. I don't know anything about lights. I'm learning slowly, slowly. So bear with me, my friends. If any professionals or people who know about them, don't be too hard on me. So now you can see it's really looking nice. Now it's doing really good of a job. That's with the thing, you see? It's with it. So it's really, really making it look nice now. I, I, I believe you guys be the judge. Leave it in the comments down below what you guys think. Uh, as well, if you like this video, I would appreciate you hit that like button and hit that subscribe would be massively appreciated, my friends. So yeah, it is pretty good. What do you guys think? Can it be used as a YouTube day-to-day uh, -day lighting? Not too bad. with me now in the frame. Now it's pointing straight up, okay? The light is pointing straight upwards. Now I'm switching it diagonal towards me, towards my face like so, okay? Now direct up in the air as you can see. So it is pretty good I think. Well, I can't really see what's going on now. So you guys be the judge, leave it in the comments down below what you guys think. Okay, so let's now turn everything off and get back to the main lights that I have. Okay, so here it is now. Okay, one thing I wanna mention because it's so powerful and the back is a real thin aluminum, you really feel the heat. Wow, it's really, really hot. Like I can keep my hand on it, it's not burning, but I do feel like a heating sensation on the hand because of it so it is it does get pretty hot and that was not even more than five minutes maybe it was like four minutes three minutes so it does get hot so keep that in mind if you're going to be using this for making youtube videos as a main light or some sort that it will get hot so keeping it for a long period of time i don't know what it will do maybe it won't do nothing or maybe it'll just be so hot that you be careful not to touch it I don't know if it'll ruin it, if it'll burn it out, etc. But it does get hot. So anyways, my friends, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, it was just mainly to show this 50 watt LED light. It's a floodlight or spotlight. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Can it be used as a YouTube video lighting? I hope I'm saying it right, but you get the point. Leave it in the comments down below what you guys think and if 
what I can learn, I would appreciate you telling me as well. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, remember to be safe, take care, have fun, and peace out, people. Bam!